how to not out be, how to not be outweighed by too many responsibilities. Because when it comes to responsibilities, the signature that you put your name on that data line is pretty much what you signed your soul to. <clears throat> so the time, the energy, the amount of years, months, days that you put into that responsibility, these are experiences and these are expansions. So these experiences become too many responsibilities, almost to the point it start dripping off the cup. So you got to always remember and always look over what you sign and always have an intent behind what you're signing. Because if you're in a situation <clears throat> of putting yourself out there to manifest all these responsibilities, you got to utilize some of these responsibilities as drawers that you can pretty much open and have them organized and have a setup program where you can pretty much have things go correspondent towards how you want things to be perspective. But you got to always look at the bigger picture on how you can pretty much utilize all aspects of these responsibilities to get you to where you need to pretty much get to. Because this is a situation where individuals may want something and they pretty much may be willing to pretty much go to the extremes to do something or get something. But once they get that thing that they wanted, it don't really be too much for them to pretty much be happy and fulfilled about. Because once you get it, <clears throat> you're not in the area and location of feeling the need to pretty much be needing it anymore. And the moment you get something, you got to take care of it. And the moment you don't take care of it, the moment you pretty much manifest more situations and more catastrophic scenarios and now you got to put yourself into a situation of having to pretty much go ahead and go get it again so you got to always have a true internal mission when it comes to what you're pretty much putting yourself out there for because your time and your energy and your soul is highly important so you never want to pretty much waste that towards things that's not going to pretty much have no progress or no formal ground and stepping stools for you to pretty much have into your future references <clears throat> that even goes out with a job some people you know they get a job and they'll just be working there putting all their time sweat tears and energy in that area and they're not getting too much out of, out of it so when you add a job you need to be in a situation of utilizing every tool and every method and every second <clears throat> every minute and every hour that you're at that job that's going towards a world or a business or a goal that you pretty much are out there to pretty much push off. Now, if you're just there, don't have no mind, and you're not in the process of using your mind or your imagination, you're going to lose it. Because the term is, if you don't use it, you will lose it. So if you don't use that job, or if you don't use any methods or any skills or any tactics to pretty much get yourself out of that situation, you're going to lose these things. These things are going to be jeopardized. And of course, you're going to be angry, you're going to be sad, you're going to be depressed, worried, and all these things are going to pretty much wear you down, tear you down. So that's when it comes to using it.